Shay. Hi. How's it going? Good, so far. Got any plans for tonight? No. You seem to be confused about the idea of a party. And so you're just gonna take it easy. Why do you care? I don't. But you're pretty wasted on Thursday night. Um, I mean, it's entertaining for me, but um, poison on me is getting a little embarrassing. Well, I would hate to embarrass you. <laughs> You don't remember anything, do you? I remember kicking your ass at pool. Mm -hmm. No, you're just making shit up. So, you remember eating that entire plate of nachos? Yes. And you remember dancing with lamb? Yes. And you remember taking off in a taxi, leaving me at the bar when there were no other trains running for the night? There were other taxis. There weren't. Trust me, I tried. I'm sorry, I was in really bad shape. Huh? I know. I was there. Chip. Maybe we should play a drinking game. Nice. Let's play truth or dare. I'll go first. Truth. I hate math. That's not how you play truth or dare or a drinking game. No, it's both. Wait, you don't really hate Matt. Yes, we do. I don't trust him. That man has weasel eyes. Why? He seems really sweet. You think everyone seems really sweet? No, I don't. Yes, yes you, you do. do. No, I don't. Sheree, how long have we known one another? I don't know, a year? Thirteen months and three weeks. So I can safely say with confidence that you would trust a cat with a sign around its neck that said syphilis and had several knives taped to its head. Well, that's ridiculous. I can't let a cat walk around with knives taped to its head. Do you hear yourself? You don't really think I'm too trusting, do you? You are. Trust me. No. Haha. -ha. You're still feeling sad about the cat, aren't you? Yes. It's not a real cat, Shrey. Right? I know, I just... I named him. Oh. oh, God. Poor little Winston! You would fall quickly come the apocalypse. Okay, okay. Next. Truth. What do you really think about this wedding? Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. The whole stars and galaxies theme. Oh, it's so perfect. It's so them. It's so... It's a walking disaster. <gasps> you broke her. You know I'm right. Why would you say that? Because they're too young. They're gonna have a baby, and that baby will eat your way their life, and it will ruin any chance they could have had of happiness, because that is what children do! Aren't you a kindergarten teacher? Yeah, what about it? So, what is your plan? Why do you keep asking me that? There's no plan. Beyond these chips, there's no way to So you're just gonna get drunk and avoid Liam? What? I just figured that's your obvious go-to move. I mean, you made it clear this whole engagement thing is painful for you. So you don't remember saying that? I never said that. Well, you don't have to believe me. I have it right here. I am a god among men, but I am so good. Yeah, yeah, good for you. You're the best. I am the best. I am the best man. I am I'm not the best man, but I would be the best, best man. I have the best speech. Why am I speech? Uh, to our intrepid groom. You were filming that? Why were you filming that? I was filming you take your shot. It's not my fault you went off about how your best friend is throwing his life away. Shh! I did not... I did not say he was throwing his life away. Oh. Okay. You're throwing your life away. I cannot believe you. Why not? It's very believable. I just can't believe you'd say that. She's your sister. Don't you care about her at all? Stepsister. And of course I do. That's why I'm saying it. Drink me. But they're in love. So? What do you mean so? 
That's the most important thing when you're getting married. No, the only thing that matters is the gifts. There aren't that many occasions that call for a solid gold gravy boat. You got them a solid gold gravy boat? No. I got them an ice cream scoop set. You know, silver, gold, white gold, platinum with inlaid crystal handles. I really wanted to get them something they'd use. Well, I'm getting them four bottles of a 1977 Chianti Reserve. That way, each can have two in the divorce. Or they could open the bottles on the eve of their 25th wedding anniversary to celebrate the success of their marriage. Or they can open them on their honeymoon and get hella crunk. What uh, the hell is that, anyway? They're Paloma Paralyzers. Those gold flakes are edible, right? Ladies, I propose a toast. Gold is glitter and glitter is gold. It flutters through the sweat stinking bowl. I don't know what that means. Okay, just drink. Stop, Shay. Stop. You have to believe that. Why? It's not a big deal. Are you? Because if Liam sees that, he's gonna kill me. Look, I think it's done. I do. I think marriage is a deeply flawed institution. I mean, how can you know you're gonna love somebody years later? You did. Well, yeah, the Violet and I broke up. True, you did screw that up. Thanks for that. No, no, she's in West Africa. And... It, the point is, you can't promise to love somebody. People change. And seriously, Liam doesn't even care what I think. He asked me point blank if I thought he was making a huge mistake, and I said, if you love Rebecca, and if you really think that she's the one, then why not? I didn't think they were actually going to get married, at least not anytime soon. So yeah, I lied, okay? I lied. But the point is, that's what Liam wanted to hear. That's what he needed to hear from me. And if he sees this, he can't, Shay. He can't. Okay. Then he won't. Thank you. Except... Except you did say those things, and I don't think that should go unpunished. So, how about just for tonight, you make it fun. I'll bet you that you can't go the whole night saying the opposite of what you think. No, no way. Wait, 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 wait. What are your terms? Well, since you seem to be so great at protecting people from your good opinion, why stop there? Every time someone asks you a question, you have to say the least helpful thing you can think of. You have to say the opposite of what you really want to say. No exceptions. These are your terms? Yes. Only direct questions, though. Not implied, and I can make truthful statements. But, if someone asks you, for example, if you think they should get married really, really young, you say... Yes! Exactly! So it'll be easy for you. Oh, and if you fail, I take the video straight to them. The bet's only over when the party's over. And I mean over, over, like all the guests have gone to over. So that's it? It's just like opposite day except just with questions? Okay. Then what if I win? I'll delete the video. That's it? My turn is up. That's blackmail. Yes. Seems fair. Great. Are you gonna finish those? No.